Hello again, everybody. Doing a quick follow-up to my uh, video of about a year ago, where I demonstrated a mini uh, camp kitchen chuck box uh, to be used for kayaking and canoeing and etc. Small ventures. Um, I've used this several times now, and I've been very, very pleased with it. Um, but it is set up for two people or possibly even three people, whereas a lot of times I find myself out doing uh, trips now that are just for one guy. So I thought, hey, how can you make it even smaller? Well, here is the result. The newer version weighs in at less than four pounds. Uh, and it was based on the same criteria of the seven pound larger version, which is cheap local uh, parts and pieces uh, in a compact framework, but still allowing you to do significant styles of cooking. So the basis of this one is a plastic ammo box found at Harbor Freight Tools. I got this one on sale for six or seven bucks. It is uh, pretty lightweight in the configuration of you know what a, a larger metal ammo box would be. It has a nice clasp on that side and has a rubberized gasket around to make it fairly water resistant, although like the earlier version of the chuck box, not waterproof. There was one modification I had to make, and that was to these interior ribs. I had to chew them out here uh, about an eighth of an inch, maybe up to a quarter of an inch. I just used a Dremel, but it can be done with a utility knife, in order to get just a tiny bit of clearance for my cook kit. So that's really the only modification that was made to the basis. So let's start and have a look at what's inside. Again, trying to be as compact and utilizing as much nesting as possible in order to fit as much stuff as possible. So you may recall from the earlier video, these little boxes that I particularly like for uh, tools and etc. Um, a little hand sanitizer, a, uh, a Bic lighter, a can opener, one of the uh, small military can openers, and of course a cigar cutter. So that's its inside. Second thing, well folded here, is a sink. But it's not actually a sink because the, the sinks that you can buy from various sources or things that are called sinks uh, tend to be very expensive, 20 or 30 bucks. This is a Coleman uh, packable dog bowl for to, for Fido to be able to have a drink while you're camping or hiking or what have you. And I look at it and I think, well, that thing would make a fantastic um, sink or wash basin when you're out in the woods because sanitation is very important uh, to the best of your ability. Well, so that's what that thing holds uh, a significant amount of water and can be used for washing up either hands or parts of your kit. I picked that thing up for five bucks. That's a Coleman product. So I'm very, very pleased with that. Um, something from the earlier video, these are Walmart available um, cooking tools and uh, of course nestable, but that gives you a cutting spatula, spoon, fork. I've also got in here a classic spork. I like these things. So they're cheap, you can buy a bunch of them at the same time. Here then is I had to go to the smallest available isobutane container. Uh, this happens to be the uh, Jetboil Jet Power one. I've previously used much larger ones, the, uh, the MSRs, etc. But um, that's the smallest one I could find. And so since I'm more limited on space, I had to go with that. Here's something that is kind of new. I'll pull out the whole contraption here. I've got inside of this pan, I always carry kind of a variety of squares of tin foil and et cetera. They come in handy for everything from a 
from a placemat to uh, keeping things warm, etc. And then uh, here's a few um, paper towels. This little gem is one that I purchased at my local grocery store for about two bucks. I think a similar thing is available at a Walmart, possibly Target, but literally about two bucks. It is a non-stick square pan, very, very shallow. I cut the handle off of it, and that's something that I can pick up with a uh, multi-tool off of the fire. Uh, so that's very, very handy. And since it's non-stick, I can do breakfast, you know, you know the drill, egg, sausage, whatever you want to do. But uh, that's part of the cook kit inside this box. Finally, actually getting into the cook kit, this is different than what I've used in the past where I was using the, uh, I guess, the exponent or something like that that I got from Walmart. That's it for the box. Um, this is the, the Stanley rig that is available in my neck of the woods here in Florida at Target for about 12, 14 bucks. There's some great reviews of these, by the way, uh, elsewhere on YouTube. So I won't give you all the, the details about how well it works and, and I think very highly of it um, because that's available elsewhere. It's just a, a really kind of a neat pot. We'll look more at that in a minute. But then I added a companion to it which is a, uh, a Walmart foldable cup or pot. And as luck would have it, the top of the Stanley actually fits the smaller one as well. And the entire Stanley fits really nicely, nests down into there, making a pretty cool um, pretty cool rig that then you know fits in the box very nicely. Again, as long as you do that little modification to the top. So there's the, the cup. Now if we go inside the Stanley, which by the way has steam vents and a strainer on it, so pretty cool. This is where I'm keeping the pocket rocket, which we all know and love. I won't break that out because it's well known. Um, keep a little bit of oil in here. And all the way at the bottom, one of the cups from Outdoor Products, which is available at Walmart. That is a Walmart captured brand, I think. And I, I, I love it. I get a lot of that stuff. So this is this uh, one of these little squishy cups. And then that's it. So uh, the only thing that I'm not doing here is grilling. And uh, in a second video, I will show what I am doing as a companion to this to be able to do actual grilling of meat. I've got a new thing for that as well. Um, but in any event, this allows me on a solo basis to do some pretty darn decent cooking. Uh, I keep my food separately, but uh, it's a very comfortable rig that I can use on my solo outings. And I uh, hope you like it. Hope it gives you some more ideas on, on how you might be able to cook comfortably when you're out in a uh, canoe, kayak, or just solo camping. So thanks very much for your attention. I look forward to your comments.